I look like Mr. Potato Head. I don't remember the last time I vlogged. I assume it was right after I finished that Hillary Clinton book, which was two days ago. Update, I've had snow days for the past two days, which is shocking because we literally had like half an inch of snow. Canada was crying at the fact that we had school off for like it. The wind blew a little and they were like, oh, oh, gotta cancel class. I've been laying in bed for two days. So I started, ooh, rainbows on my boob. I started addicted to you picture by Becca and Christina Ritchie. Krista? Christina? It's as if I didn't read it. Everyone on Twitter is obsessed with this book. My good friend Sasha is obsessed with this book. And they were like, oh my god, I read it. You're gonna love it so much. It's gonna be so good. It was I. Okay, the whole premise is like, the book's told in the perspective of, frick, what's her name? You know it was that good when you can't remember her name. <laughs> Lily. She's addicted to sex. And there's a guy who's addicted to alcohol and their whole conflict is they can't have their family find out and be shamed about it so they decide to fake this relationship for three years so that they can like isolate themselves and indulge in their respective addictions if you see where this is going then you are a smart person because these characters were annoying and stupid because they're like, oh my god, we love each other because we're gonna help each other give in to our addictions and we can help each other hide it. It's like, no, seek help. I, I just, the entire book, I was like, and they never did until literally like 90% into the book. And the entire book is just so repetitive because every scene, they would just change settings and the entire book would be like, I'm horny, he's drinking. And then we'd change settings and it'd be, I'm horny, he's drinking. And like the entire book was just about her wanting sex and him wanting alcohol. And I was like, we get it. There was no angst. The characters were okay. Like at first I was like, oh my gosh, these are going to be such great characters. And then they ended up being stupid. It just wasn't for me. The thing about it is that it's new adult, but it's not like problematic gross new adult because this book was pretty sex positive obviously you kind of have to be and the guy wasn't like bad in like a conventionally bad way i don't want to praise a fish for swimming but like it it, it was all right i think i'm gonna end up giving it like three stars i'm gonna go read other people's reviews and see what went wrong for me because i'm just like i don't know but before i do that i started an audiobook in the middle of that ebook because i got tired and i was like these idiots and so i started harry a history by Mar Ma melissa and ellie i keep wanting to say marissa this is like a memoir slash non-fiction retelling retelling account of the harry potter fandom and jk rowling's rise to fame which i know she's kind of hashtag problematic right now and i'm not discounting that but i do think i am interested in this so i started it i started my period last night as well so i started crying listening to this i was like jk rowling is such an influential author um yeah but i think i'm definitely biased by um my own emotions i'm 105 pages in it's pretty good. I'm not majorly obsessed with Harry Potter, so I think it's a very informative book if you're someone that, like, cares. Oh, God. Hello. If you're someone that cares, but, like, you don't already know all the information. <laughs> okay, I did a stupid thing, and I added in all the books on my Kindle on here, so now there's, like, twice as many books as there usually are. But I'm gonna still draw a book out of here. I hope it's Ignite Me which I did not put in this jar, but I should have now that I think about it. I'll read you, unless it's bad, then I'll put it back and cut this out. <gasps> Hunger by Roxane Gay. Oh wait, I forgot to mention a book. I started The Star-Touched Queen on audiobook. I'm like 20 pages into it. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna put this one down or read it on like five times speed and pretend I'm paying attention to it and then mark it as read. The audiobook, like the writing style is really good, but I just don't care about the characters. I know I'm 20 pages in, but I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm impatient. It's 6 a.m. I'm about to go to bed. I started Hunger. I'm like 80 pages into it. It's so good, but I'm about to fall asleep. Good night. What are you doing in my swamp? Gabby's over. She woke me up at 11.30. It was really rude. It's a really good angle. Stop looking at it. You like, it's black. You can't see anything. That's probably better for them. The last time I vlogged was at 6 a.m. And I have been asleep. 
I just wanted to put Gabby in my vlog. Okay, bye. So if I get it figured out before then, then I'll give you a call back, okay? Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. How the hell are you going to work in the housing office and not know how to do anything? We're about to fight. <laughs> Who? I'm mad. Because, yeah, it'll let me pick anything else, but it won't let me pick this one. I am heated right now. Narrator voice. She was heated. I missed an opportunity, opportunity to go, oh my god, she was heated. <gasps> 20 minutes. Our room can be taken in 20 minutes. So update, Gabby and I did not get an apartment together. I'm gonna live alone next year with a random roommate. I'm gonna cry myself to sleep every night. My arms and legs are made of glass. I'm probably never gonna post a video after August 25th, 2018, because I'm gonna have to film with a stranger in the house and it's not gonna fly. Well, your faith is strong, but you need a proof. You saw her bathing on the roof. It's Saturday. If you remember, I had Wednesday and Thursday off because we had snow days, and then Friday I don't have classes. I believe you saw I started Hunger by Roxane Gay. This book is so good. I'm currently 136 pages into it, and I cannot stop reading it. It's something I anticipated I would pick up on audiobook, but I'm reading it physically just because it's so powerful and I need to be able to underline it. And I have been underlining it like every page. So I'm having some frozen gogurt. Last night I was really out of commission because Tahara had been tweeting new Restore Me stuff, so I was clearly in my feels. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I'd say I'm like 45% of the way through this. I'm also continuing the Harry history. I'm currently 142 pages into this one. My problem with this one is that we're at a section where it's talking about like bands in Harry Potter and it's getting into such specificity about those that I'm just really bored. <laughs> the beginning of this was really interesting because it was talking about like buying the books at midnight and going to release parties and like how JK Rowling got the series but now it's turning into talking about her life as a reporter for this Harry Potter website and that's not that interesting. It is a non-fiction book about Harry Potter but it also closely follows what she does in the Harry Potter world which isn't quite the same. I'm not gonna give up on it, it's just taking a little drag right now. I did a poll asking if I should reread Ignite Me before Restore Me comes out which I mentioned in my last vlog, I really wanted to reread it but now I'm like if I already have it memorized, do I need to reread it? So it's 5 p.m. now. 6 p.m. now. 5.52. Uh, my day consisted of laundry. I still have to go get my laundry. But I know that someone probably moved it out of the dryer. So I'm like, <sighs> I don't want to go get it. So I have to go get my laundry. I've been listening to my audiobook all day as I, I do laundry. So I'm like almost done with Harry, a history. I'm sure I'll finish that tonight. And then I got to page... <laughs> I'm reaching. Got to page 178. This is impossible to put down because the chapters are like two pages each. So it's real addicting. I just finished filming a, oh my God, what is that? That's disgusting. Just touched something weird. I filmed another predictions video for Restore Me and that took like an hour and a half to film. So I'm gonna edit that footage. I'm watching Gilmore Girls right now. I should probably be reading instead of watching Gilmore Girls. But <laughs> I need to finish Gilmore Girls. I need to go get my laundry. <laughs> I guess I'll plug in my audiobook and go get my laundry and hope that no one dumps it on the floor. I'm that one person. Not the one that dumps them on the floor, the one person that leaves it there because I was too busy filming with Stormy Theories. Should have probably also put away this branch. 
Okay, bye. So I went and got my laundry. I'm putting it away now. Thankfully, no one took it out of the dryer, so shout out to my haul. I realized I only had 10 minutes left with this audiobook when I turned it on, so I just finished it. I'm not even done putting my clothes away. It's not perfect. A couple parts of it lagged. I feel like it's getting a little bit dated because I think it was published in like 2008 or 9. Obviously, since then, we've had a lot of Harry Potter happenings. This would have been perfect for a Harry Potter fan after Deathly Hallows came out, but as someone who's not obsessed with the series, and also as somewhat like in a time where there's now like a new book, new movies or whatever. I don't know how accurate it is. Also, I understand why people are so mad about it being like this girl's personal history of like meeting J.K. Rowling and being a reporter. Because I feel like there could have been a much more objective story of how each book came about and different interviews with JK Rowling. Maybe that book will be written far later in the future after like all the sequels and stuff have been amassed and all the movies and all the stuff has been exhausted. Interesting book, maybe not perfect. If you're obsessed with Harry Potter and you have to find out all the details, maybe pick this up, but I don't know. It was a fun listen. There were like two chapters though that I feel could have been cut out of this book because it was just like, who cares about rock bands? that sing Harry Potter songs. My lipstick is crumbling off. Story of my life. I think I have an audiobook request in right now for BJ Novak's book, One More Thing. So as soon as this comes in, I'm gonna start this on audiobook because I listen to one and I read a physical book and that's how I read like a book every two days. That's how I've read like 37 books this year is I finish a book every two days. I'm gonna keep folding. I'm gonna let y'all in on a secret. If you need to stock up on a snack pile for Restore Me or any other good book coming out this year, you need like a good crying into ice cream. Ben and Jerry's The Tonight Dough, this one, this bitch. Oh my God, I would kill a man for some of this. I got two of them yesterday at our campus store thing and this is the second one. It's the mother I never had. The sister everyone deserves. This is so good. So before March 6th, I'm gonna have these in my fridge, but I'm gonna eat this one now. I just really want Restore Me. It's gonna be so good. I'm gonna be so broken afterwards, but it's gonna be so worth it. It's 3 a.m. I still have not showered or started my homework for tomorrow, but I have been reading. I just finished Hunger by Roxane Gay. A book I picked up because I was like, oh, I like Roxane Gay. I think it's going to be an interesting book, but really didn't know what it was about. It's my memoir. I don't know how much I've spoken about it in previous clips, but it's about bodies and eating and being a fat person. And I don't know why, but I was not expecting that. And this speaks so true to my experience as a large woman. I wasn't expecting it at all. It blindsided me so badly. There's parts of this that were so relatable. It was painful, but like good painful. I just said in my Goodreads review, this is a masterpiece. Everyone needs to read it. I can't push this book to you and say everything is perfect. This is exactly how it is, but it's enough. It speaks true to her experiences and a lot of my experiences align with that. So I think just that alone, regardless of my opinion, it's a beautiful book, but just because it's also so true for me. Oh, it was so good. It's so, it's one of my, I would say this is gonna be my favorite book of 2018 if Restore Me wasn't coming out in nine days. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. I wanna buy every person I know a copy of this. I have underlined the entire book. <laughs> if you have not read Roxanne Gay yet, what are you doing? So I'm kind of between a rock and a hard place right now. I have two audiobooks I need to read. I just got my library copy of One More Thing by BJ Novak in so I need to start this. Do you see me? <gasps> Hello Mirror Whitney. I thought this was like a memoir about his life but apparently it's short stories that he wrote. I'm not super mad about that because Mindy Kaling recommended this book in her audiobook and said he's a super talented writer so I'm not I'm not terrified <laughs> but I am skeptical. So I'm gonna start listening to that if I don't like it or if it's boring or I think I'll like it better physical copy I'll maybe try there if not DNF. <laughs> but also I started an audiobook for The Diviners by Libba Bray and I got like 15 pages into this. I turned it on while it was pooping, so 
that's as far as I've read. I was so freaked out by this. I had to turn it off. <laughs> Gorgeous writing so far. I don't know why I ever thought about unhauling this before even reading the prologue because the prologue by itself is amazing. I'm gonna read this soon. Are you happy, Sarah? You'd think after having it for four years, I would have read it, but nope. I'm gonna go shower and go to bed. <laughs> Psych, one more thing. I'm still not sure if I'm gonna reread this or not. Being for real, I could probably read it in two days or one day. I've never listened to the audiobooks for this series, strangely. Should I listen to the audiobook? No, it'd be too much. I'd be just sitting there like trying to do laundry like... <laughs> Am I the only one that has a bookshelf but I still put stacks of books everywhere in my room? Why? Why? Okay, good night. I don't wanna be a girlfriend, I just wanna play with your hair.